Hey guys, John here from John's DIY Playground. Today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to use this Particle Photon Internet of Things device. And uh, we will use Twitter and remotely control this LED over the internet just using hashtags. So let's get started. This is the diagram that shows the relationship of the different services we'll be using for this demonstration. We can use any really uh, internet enabled device like our mobile phone or laptop to interact with Twitter. A uh, username that we want to send to is just something to note but uh, can be anything really. Uh, more critical though is for your particle photon and your particle cloud. Um, the username that you use should be the same username that you use on if this then that to uh, be successful with the greatest of ease. So make sure those two are using the same username. Um, and so what happens is the particle photon checks with the cloud all the time and tells the cloud it has a couple of functions defined. We'll show that in the software in a minute, LED on and LED off. And then we're going to define an if this then that, these two uh, Twitter hashtags that we'll use to call those functions and force the LED on or off by doing that. So but first let's take a look at how to hook up the photon. Here's a diagram of how we have our particle photon set up. Um, basically real simple you just have a 220 ohm resistor that's running from our ground over to a set of pins on the breadboard that are away from the main uh, input output pins and then you have your LED that's hooked to that uh, LED, um, to that resistor and then to pin D0 on the photon keep in mind uh, with diodes of course they are polarized so the longer leg or the uh, anode should be going to the D0 and the shorter leg should be going to the resistor that goes to ground. So now order of operations is important in this case because we must define our particle functions to the particle cloud before we do our if this then that setup step. So make sure you program your particle at this time and the code is right here very very simple. Um, we're defining our two functions in the setup area here. Of course, LED on and LED off. Um, we have to define those functions further. So LED function basically will be the um, digital write high for the on and the off will be digital write of low of that D0 pin where our, where our LED is connected. In the main loop, there's really nothing to do. So very, very simple code. When you have that all set, uh, just go ahead and you can flash it using this uh, web IDE by clicking that and you'll see your particle photon will um, start flashing magenta and take on the new code and then we're ready to move on to the next step. So now you want to go ahead and head over to the if this then that website iftt.com and again log in with the same username that you're using for your particle photon. We're going to need two recipes. Um, the first recipe I've already created for new tweets. If they're from my account with DIY Playground with the hashtag hash LED on, then call the function of LED on. And so now I'll show you how to do the LED off as an example uh, to complete the process for this demo. Um, the this is going to be our trigger known as Twitter. And so you just search on that. The first time you hit this, you may have to uh, enable this channel. After you do it once, you don't have to do it again, but go ahead and click on that. And then in this case, what we're going to do is just look for a tweet from a known username, which is us, uh, DIY Playground, with the hashtags that we're going to define next. So the hashtag I defined last time was LED on. This time I'm going to do the LED off, and that will be our trigger. When we see that hashtag, we are going to load the particle channel and we're going to call a function. And that function, in this case, it will give you this drop down list. That's why you have to have your particle photon already uploaded with the functions that you want to choose from so that this part works properly. And so LED off is the function we're looking for. And as far as this part, with a, you could pass variables and things like that to get it even more intricate, but in this case, we really don't need that. And so that is the only action we need to call. And so now our recipe is uh, complete. Just going to do those steps. You hit Create Recipe, and now it's all set. Now we can give it a little t uh, test and check it out. So here we have the If This um, Then That app already running the recipes on. It's basically on all the time. 
We have Twitter loaded. Um, you can see them in my account, the DIY Playground. Um, I already used an initial tweet here to uh, send a hashtag LED on, which turned the LED on as you can currently see. And I've got prepped already in the screen here. Uh, another message to go up that says I can tweet an LED off and make my photons external LED turn off using the same concept. So it's got the hashtag LED off. So then when I hit uh, the tweet button, you can see the tweet's going to go out. And so that'll happen in a moment. It, it loaded it now. It's been posted. And so if this then that, we'll be checking Twitter for this command and see, uh, you can see what kind of delay there is for the reaction time. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it takes, let's say, um, anywhere from 30 seconds I've seen to even maybe a minute. It just depends how busy, I guess, things are with the if this then that and uh, the Twitter app. So it should be turning off momentarily. And let's wait for it. Oh boy. Go figure, because it's on a demo. It must know. Oh, there it goes. So. Yep, it finally went off. That was one of the longer times, and for the time it took to go on, uh, when I did it a couple hours ago, it was almost uh, maybe five seconds, and that time it took almost like, uh, an eternity is what it feels like when recording video here. So anyway, guys, that's the uh, demonstration for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel for future videos, and I really appreciate you all watching. This is John for John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.